Hi, SF Symbols 5 gives a whole new way of expressiveness with animation. So in this video, we will explore the new dimension of animations in the SF Symbols app and how you can copy animation configurations for your Swift UI symbol animations. Let's begin. To follow along with this tutorial, you need SF Symbols 5. You can head to the Apple website and search for SF Symbols. This is already in beta, so you can download it from here. I have it already installed, so I'm going to launch the app. On the left navigator, you can see I have selected all the icons. Before SF Symbols 5, we had the Info Inspector and the Color Inspector. And new in SF Symbols, we also have the Animation Inspector, which allows you to preview and copy animation configurations for Swift UI and UI Kit symbol animations. So you can experiment with different kinds of symbol animations using the animation inspector. For example, those under the variable color category. In this example, we are going to use the touch ID icon. So I will go to the search and look for touch ID. I will select it from here. For a better look, I'm going to switch to gallery view and that shows a large version of the symbol on the canvas. So now let's head to the animation inspector. The animation inspector gives a set of animation presets. If I click the options, we have different types, scale, variable color, pause, replace and disappear. Let's for example, select scale. Once you do that, we can click the icon preview to preview the animation. To make the animation repeating, you can click this icon here and then click preview again. So that shows our scale animation. Let's change the animation preset again and select variable color. The repeat icon is activated, so I'll click preview again. So I encourage you to check all these presets and check the one that is suitable for your animation. Once you select an animation preset, there are also some other configurations. For example, with the bounce, you can see we have the animation type and direction. So we can set it to by layer. Most of the symbols support by layer animation. So you can animate the individual layers of the icon. If you prefer, you can animate the whole symbol as well. Then you can change the direction through which the symbol animates. So for the bounce animation, we can set it up or down. Once you make changes in the animation preset and also the animation type and direction, over here on the top right, it shows modified. If you don't want the changes, we can click modified to set it back to the default. So we have the animation preset set to bounce. Let's activate the repeat icon and preview again. So once you are okay with this animation, we can click on the copy icon to copy the animation configuration for Swift animation. So when you are working with UIKit based animation or you have Swift UI symbol animation, we can choose this option. We also have an option for Objective C. So let's copy the configuration for Swift. I have already created a Swift UI app. So over here, I have the folder Bounce Effect. Let's control click that and add a new file. Let's name the file Touch ID Bounce. I have the animation configuration still copied to the clipboard. Let's use the same symbol for the animation. I will remove this text and put image. To have a better look, I will change the preferred color scheme to dark and increase the size of the icon. Let's select, for example, 128. To create this animation, we need a variable to interpolate from. So let's go to the declaration section of the code and add a new variable. We will call this interpolate from 2.
So this is our initial value. And once the view appears, we need to set the final state. So let's use the onAppear modifier for that. Then we set the final state to, for example, 1. Next, new in Xcode 15, we can create symbol animations by using the symbol effect modifier. Above the onAppear modifier, let's add the symbol effect modifier. There are several options of the symbol effects modifier. Let's pick the one that has the parameters, effect, options, and value. The effect is the animation preset we copied from the SF Symbols app. So let's go back again. When I click copy, that copies the configuration of the animation. I'm going to remove the effect and paste it here. So that is our configuration of the effect. Next, we have the options. With the options parameter, we can define how many times we want this animation to play. Let's put a period. You can see we have default, non-repeating, repeating. We can also choose repeat count to specify how many times we want the animation to play. For example, we can choose five one or two or any number we want this to repeat forever so let's select repeating the value parameter is the same as the state we set here so let's copy that and paste it here so you can see we have the same bounce animation we previewed using the sf symbol app let's go back to the app again and change the configuration we have the direction set to up. Let's change it to down, for example, and copy the code again. So if you have it set to down, it animates down up. When we set it up, it animates from up to down. I'll go back to Xcode and replace the effect. We can easily change up to down, and that works in the same way as well. So let's paste that. It now animates from down to up. With this, we will end here. So this is how to use the SF Symbol app to preview and copy animations for your symbol animations in Swift UI. From now, I will be showing you how to build different kinds of symbol animations in Swift UI. So thanks for watching this video.